Cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take the, um, the snow thrower off, put the bucket back on, and from time to time you'll hear I have a little friend in, the, in my rafters. I opened up my bay door as we came flying in, so the squeaking and the beeping that you hear, that's, that's him. So, all right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the snow thrower off. And like I did with my loader, I'm actually gonna put this part of the snow thrower on um, furniture dollies too, so that way I can move it around my garage. So all I did is I popped these pins on both sides and I put the, uh, I disengaged the housing. Housing. So I got her disconnected. So now I'm gonna um, disconnect the uh, hydraulic lines. Um, and I don't ever use an X-Acto knife, I always use like my wire cutters because I don't ever want to risk splicing the hydraulic. Now I'm just gonna wiggle the, the stick to make sure I've got all of my uh, hydraulic fluid out. So that way it should pop off no problem. And then I just take the lines and I follow them with my hands. And I've got this one. And there we go. Got these guys unhooked. So. The snow thrower deck on uh, furniture dollies. And now I can move around as I need to. All right. Now I'm going to finish unhooking the rest of the hydraulics. Now the next thing I'm going to do is disconnect the drive shaft. So this is pretty easy. It you just pull this, and it literally just comes detached, and then you pull it from the motor, and there you go, all done. <laughs> Pretty easy. Okay, so there's two pins that you need to disconnect this, the, the unit from the tractor. So you've got a pin here, and then you've got this back pin right here. So I, so you do this pin first, and the reason being is if you take off the back pin, um, this won't come out, it'll actually, um, pinch it and so you won't even be able to pull this out and everything on this should be able to come out rather easily and move like as you can see I'm moving it within the tractor or within the space so I'll go ahead and take this pin out and like literally you can see that I can push it through so there we go and then right out she comes In with her and then the other pin right here so I'll just pull this one off out she comes and then I'm actually going to put my creeper under it one of you had suggested that to get 
um, you know, things moving and whatnot. Um, when I struggled with it last year, putting it on to uh, use my creeper. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Got the creeper under there. And then should be able to pluff this last pin. Oh, it's back here. And then just pull off this last pin and she went right down. So cool stuff. There we go. Trying to work around the St. Bernard doesn't uh, make this any easier. So I got her on my creeper and now she's off. So that's how, that's a how I go about removing the snow thrower. It's so funny. I think the tractors, I think tractors look naked without anything on front of them. They're so small and cute. Next thing is getting those on this. Let's see. Let's see how close I can get to lining it up. So now I'm close enough I can um, put in the hydraulics so that way I don't smoosh them. Last year when I tried putting the loader back on, um, because it was my first time putting the loader back on, um, I couldn't get I couldn't get these to connect um, because there had been the pressure had built up in the line. And they tell you, you know, to unscrew it and whatnot. Um, but you know, I didn't I didn't know that until after the fact. Again, I have to do it this year because I can't. I can't even depress it with my finger, so. What I use to actually depress those to let some of the hydraulic back out um, is so, I actually take this screwdriver, it's the one where you can put like multiple head attachments and stuff on it, but because it's square on the top, you know, it's not going to, to dig into. So I put a cloth over the top of it. There we go. So, as you can see, popped no problem because now it moves with my pinky finger. Wow, I might have to loosen that one. Wow, that's never happened. Wow, I can't press those at all. So my red and blue line, I'm gonna have to loosen up a little bit. And then on these ones, they're actually color coded. So like I said, I had to undo the red one, which is here and then the blue one here, but you know, they're, they're both marked for me. So I'll untwist these just enough to get the, the pressure to release. Get a towel so I can clean that up. Now I should be able to depress the red one, no problem. Yep, here we go. Okay, so the red one is all good. Oh, blue one is too. Okay, well. Now they're all good. So I just needed to do the red one. Awesome. And then I will look at it and make sure that I've got, got gotten it tight all the way. I'll start with the bottom one first, which is yellow. Next is red. Next is blue. The white one's on. They are all on. I'll show you what you're gonna be looking at when you watch. What you're looking for. So you can see all of this from inside the cabin. Um, so this right here is what you're looking at. And you wanna make sure that you have even enough space on both sides of the tractor. Um, but I'll show you what we're, what we're looking at when we're putting the loader back on.
which she is right there. All right, so I just needed to jiggle her a little bit and remove my uh, furniture dollies. put my loader back on. So now it's time to start the spring and summer maintenance on the road and we'll go from there.